this is Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team, and I have a fun thank you card uh, to share with you today. I thought this would be really cool to send to friends and family that sent gifts to myself and the kids over the holiday season. It's really easy to make, and we're going to be using the Sizzix Eclipse Decorative Doodle Shapes and Alphabet, as well as Tim Holtz's Trophy Antlers Big Sty. So let's begin. Here are the supplies you'll need for this particular tutorial. First, you'll need um, the Eclipse Decorative Doodles Shapes and Alphabet Cartridge. You'll also need the pen holder. This is an accessory that you can buy separate from the machine. I'll be using the Sizzix Trophy Antlers Die by Tim Holtz. And I used a thin wood veneer to make my die cuts. So I have two antlers just so that I can adhere them on top of each other and make them more sturdy. One of the trophies. We'll also need, this is the Faber-Castell metallic pit pen from Design Memory Craft. You can use any pen you like, but I really like this gold one. A thank you stamp, some twine, some detail gold embossing powder, Versamark Dazzle ink, as well as a sheet of black cardstock. I also like to use an embossing buddy just so I don't get any stray embossing powder. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using decorative doodles, the shapes and alphabet, and specifically I'll be using this frame right here. And what's really cool about the Eclipse is that it comes with some cool accessories that you can buy on the side, and this one is the pen holder. And it comes with really good directions, but I'm going to show you how to pair it with my favorite castell Design Memory Craft metallic pit pen. And right now gold is really popular, so I'm going to be using this gold tip pen. I'm just going to take this out of the package. You can see it comes in a little tin so you don't lose it. And inside it comes with different collets and those help grip the pen inside. So I'm just going to unscrew this, take off the collet that is included, and I've already sized this, but you want something that's going to make it have a snug fit. And for me, it's this number eight. So you put the collet around your pen, then you drop it in, and this is what works best for me. Something else might work best for you. And you want the tip to come out anywhere from a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch. You don't want it to drag on your project, so you don't want um, too much of the tip to show. And you want to make sure that the tip is centered. And then you just put that top piece back on, screw it on. And this will also tighten it and prevent it from slipping. And now it's ready to go in the Eclipse. Now that your pen holder is ready to add, ready to be put in the Eclipse, you just take this clamp and you unscrew it. And the blade housing should pop right out. And you just replace that with your pen holder. It will stop so you don't have to guess and then you just tighten it up. You won't be able to put this down. You want this to stay up so that your pen has enough room to move around. So I have my Eclipse set up with the pen holder and my eight and a half by 11 piece of black cardstock. And I have the cartridge in and I'm just going to select my artwork.
So here's my card all finished. I adhered the trophy and the antlers, and then I added some hemp twine into a little ribbon bow and a little metallic thin ribbon uh, necklace type thing on the side hanging. And the reason why I did that is because we live in New Orleans now and I see the Mardi Gras beads hanging from trees and gates and pretty much everywhere. And I thought this would be a really cool thank you to send to friends and families that sent Christmas gifts. So again, this was Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team showing you how to use the Sizzix Eclipse Decorative Doodles Shapes and Alphabet as well as Tim Holtz's Trophy Antlers Big Sty. Thanks for watching! Oh.